my name is Luis Salgado, founder and director of Revolución Latina, and today I'm so honored because actually it's our first interview to one of our advisors, but this is not just any advisor, this is Luis Miranda, señoras y señores. He started the Hispanic Federation as one of the things. He works now here, he advises politicians, he advises the community, and he is the father of Lin Manuel Miranda, our very first interview and the inspiration for Revolución Latina. What an honor it is to be with you here today. It's a pleasure to talk to you and uh, delighted that you agreed to do an interview. Humbled by it. <laughs> Thank you so much <laughs> for your time. It's unique that the combination of the volunteer work and the reaching out to so many, uh, so many young people, uh, it's, 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 a, it's a unique uh, experience. Uh, my family was very political. Uh, my great uncle was the founder of the Puerto Rican Independence Party uh, back in Puerto Rico. The other big thing that always happened in my family was theater, because my uncle was very much involved Ernesto in theater, Concepcion. Ernesto Concepcion. Growing up, he had this place in Old San Juan, before Old San Juan was trendy and everything was very expensive as it is now, called La Tierruca. It was part of who I was. I was either doing something in theater or being involved in a campaign. So at least now, vicariously, I lived the theater part through all of you. Who we are is very important as it relates to what we do. And I decided that part of what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to elect uh, Latinos and African Americans and minorities to represent us at the various levels of government and sort of continue to make sure uh, that Latinos sit at the table in a prominent way. So having a son that then goes into theater and sort of open uh, new horizons uh, for Latinos in theater, it's, it's very rewarding because in a totally different sphere of mm -hmm. life, he sort of continued to create this legacy of being committed to who we are as people. My first musical was a musical called Irene with Debbie Reynolds. She was sort of the star of that, of that musical. Uh, but no doubt uh, that in the Heights, uh, it's my favorite musical, uh, followed by Wicked. Mm. Uh, I, I love Wicked. I just think it's such a smart story. Uh, so I, I sort of grew up with the Wizard of Oz. So to hear the other side of the story of someone who is fighting for the little people, which is what I've done all my life, that's, that's sort of very, very, very attractive. Here in the richest place in the world, to know that kids don't have physical education, that they're not exposed to the arts, that they don't learn a second language. It's like, it is pathetic. Uh, and so doing that, it's important because you create better people, people who know about more things in life. Being able to speak languages means that you could communicate a whole bunch of people. Uh, when, when, when I hear eliminate, why dual language, why all of that, I'm like, because you're enriching someone's life. And I see art uh, that way. I, I just think it's a very important component of who people ought to be. I needed to have a good home and kids who 
worried about their studies and about their lives and about their friends and about their families, that if I didn't do anything else, that was the most important thing I needed to do. And if that was covered, then you go outside of your home and you worry about your neighborhood and your neighbors and other people. And then if that it's moving forward, then you keep going to the next level. That, that's how I have always seen uh, my, my life. People have to sort of follow their dreams and use what's out there to get ahead. My name is Luis Miranda and I dare to go beyond.